Hello friends, let us see the colliding stars puzzle. In this puzzle, there are two types of stars, the X type and the Y type of stars. There is a theory proposed for the collision of two types of stars. According to the theory, if N X type of stars collide with M Y type of stars, the collision results in the formation of M plus N new Y type of stars, elimination of previous N X type of stars and change of type from Y to X of the previous Y type of stars. To understand the theory more clearly, let us see this diagram. N X type of stars and M Y type of stars collide to form M plus N new Y type of stars. The M Y type of stars are converted to M X type of stars and the original N X type of stars present in the collision gets eliminated. Assume that the total count of the stars present are 144. We need to find the total number of collisions that might have happened if initially there were only two stars, one X type and another Y type. Also remember friends that the collision follows the following rules. All the stars collide together at once. No two collisions can happen at the same instant. So can you find out the total number of collisions that might have happened so that the total count of the stars become 144? Initially, there was one X type of star and one Y type of star. According to the theory, when these two stars collide, they form one plus one, that is two new Y type of stars. The one Y type of star gets converted to one X type of star and the one X type of star originally present in the collision gets eliminated. Now, we have one X type of star and two Y type of stars that collide in the next step. When these two stars collide, they form one plus two, that is three new Y type of stars. These two Y type of stars are transformed into two X type of stars. And this one X type of star present before the collision gets eliminated. Now, as we saw in this slide, the two X type of stars and three Y type of stars collide in the next step to form two plus three, that is five Y type of stars. These three Y type of stars get converted to three new X type of stars. Again, in the next step, these three X type of stars and five Y type of stars formed in the collision take part in the next collision. They again form three plus five, that is eight Y type of stars. And these five Y type of stars are transformed in five X type of stars. These stars formed take part in the next collision. These collisions go on in this way, let us see the last step here. 8 X type of stars and 13 Y type of stars formed in this previous collision collide to form 8 plus 13 that is 21 Y type of stars and these 13 Y type of stars get converted to 13 new X type of stars. Friends, do you notice any pattern in the formation of these stars? Let us see the pattern through the table here. Initially, we knew that we had one X type of star and one Y type of star. So in total, we had two stars. When these stars collided, the collision resulted in the formation of two Y type of stars and one X type of star. 
which gives total three stars. In the next collision, these three stars collide. That is, two Y type of stars and one X type of star collide in the collision number two to form three new Y type of stars. And these two Y type of stars were converted into two X type of stars. So the total stars are two plus three, that is five. The collisions go on in a similar manner. Let us see collision number eight. When 34 X type of stars collide with 55 Y type of stars, it results in the formation of 55 X type of stars from these previous 55 Y type of stars and 34 plus 55 that is 89 new Y type of stars. So the total stars formed are 55 plus 89 which gives 144. Hence we can say that in collision number 9 we get the total count of stars as 144. Also we see that the number of stars formed in any collision is equal to the sum of the stars formed in the preceding two collisions. For example, the collision number 3, the total stars formed are 8. The stars formed in the preceding two collisions, that is collision number 2 and 1 are 5 and 3. The sum of the collision of stars in collision number 1 and 2 gives the number of stars in collision number 3. That is 3 plus 5 gives 8, 5 plus 8 gives 13, 13 plus 21 gives 34, 21 plus 34 gives 55 and so on. So this type of series in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers is known as Fibonacci series. Stay tuned and keep watching.